is your land. <laughs> Come seek an adventure as your pirates, eh? Make the jump to life, speed. Hi there, Mouseketeers, and welcome to the Disneyland Beat, where our toes tap to a Disneyland drum, and we always whistle while we work. Well, hey there, I'm TC. I'm your host for today, and we're going to be looking at Imagine the Possibilities here on DisneylandForward.com, if you want to watch with me. So they have announced some pretty awesome ideas um, that would have a new shopping and dining district and major expansions to both Disneyland and DCA. Uh, this is pretty awesome stuff. This is very much the kind of stuff we want to see. Uh, we think a lot of people are going to be happy about this, and here's some great reasoning. Disneyland will never be completed. It will continue to grow as long as there is imagination left in the world, and we hope that is true too. And this entire parking area um, is going to be turned into a new park. Imagine the possibilities. We want to bring more Disney investment to Anaheim. However, this simply is impossible under current inflexible planning restrictions unless we remove and replace treasured rides and attractions in our parks today. Without updates, new Disney experiences and placemaking created from our beloved stories will likely never find their way to the Disneyland Resort as they have in other parks throughout the world. With Disneyland Forward and more flexibility within our existing properties, new lands and adventures like those underway at Tokyo Disney Sea and Shanghai Disneyland could inspire new experiences here. One of the areas, so here is the Paradise Pier Hotel, and this would be the major entrance into the park from DCA. Um, so, guests visit Arendelle, the home of Elsa and Anna, to explore this frozen land filled with a thrilling boat adventure. So, we might think Frozen Ever After there. So, Frozen Ever After might be coming rather than a roller coaster. So, which might make sense here if what we're looking at is more show building of Fro Frozen rather than a coaster. Enormous show building right here and a very magical looking large uh, mountain. Um, and. This is probably either Arendelle, or this is uh, potentially uh, Tangled or Peter Pan, but we don't think so. We think this is probably the Arendelle area. Who knows? So that very well could be a new version of Frozen Ever After, with outdoor elements and indoor elements as well, as you're going around what I think is going to be Arendelle here. Um, but this very well could almost be another part with different types of attractions new show buildings that would be added in here as well. Um, this, this almost seems like a continuation of the same thing because there's these same colored little magical uh, baubles everywhere and things like that. But um, this also could be changing from the Peter Pan to an Arendelle area as well. Okay, there's also going to be a Peter Pan, a Neverland area that features two attractions. One that with the help of Tinkerbell takes guests on a boat ride following the Lost Boys down a river and the other guests on a journey to the middle of Pixie Hollow. The area will also include a restaurant with spectacular views inspired by the Lost Boys iconic hideout. This very much looks like another land. That almost looks like kind of a cool little standalone type of area. But this very much looks like another land with some walkthrough and um, tracks as well through here. It looks like there's going to be another area with another uh, aquatic centered area. This could be Peter Pan if this is Arendelle. This is just, just theories now, folks. There's a tangled land. Rapunzel's Tower overlooks a charming forest where guests board gondolas to the Lantern Festival to live Rapunzel's best day ever with Flynn. Ah. A restaurant where she befriended a band of thieves in the film is also featured. So I Got a Dream is also featured, so we're good. And there's actually going to be a full boat ride that would be Rapunzel's. And that would make more sense to me being over in, in the Disneyland section, maybe one of these two water areas, possibly. Um, do you think they would even... Is that Rapunzel's tower right there in the Disneyland hotel? Is that what I see? looks an awful lot like it so maybe the rapunzel attraction is something you're looking at out of your window are the pools going away as part of the disneyland hotel experience i don't know i kind of thought we saw the tower in here um and maybe this isn't just pools but 
when you really look at it from the top, it does look a bit more like traditional pools. Um, so, hard to say. With updated approvals, Disney California Adventure Park could become home to some of Disney's most technologically advanced, immersive, and cutting-edge entertainment, taking cues from these exciting lands and attraction around the globe for inspiration. So currently under construction at Shanghai Disneyland, guests are invited to experience Zootopia, which, uh, where anyone can be anything with a new major attraction that will seamlessly blend Disney storytelling and state-of-the-art technology to bring this fan-favorite movie and its characters to life. In here, maybe this is a Zootopia area. The monorail is going to uh, get all the way over there. So, uh, you know, goodbye to uh, a lot of this part of downtown Disney, um, the Rainforest Cafe, a lot of the stuff that was going to be going already for the Five Diamond Hotel that got stalled. Looks like that's all, all on the chopping block again. Um, and then you can come over and uh, I think the entrance for Disneyland is further up here. So get this e-ticket attraction feeling here that would really bring together some animatronics with some really amazing uh, uh, storytelling. And looks like they're gonna be selling a lot of different animal ears. If Zootopia is the place where both parks come together. If Zootopia is the world where the you know the world of Disneyland and the world of Disney California Adventure commingle, that's pretty cool. There's also potentially a Toy Story Land, part of Disney's Hollywood Studios in Florida. Guests shrink down to size, um, so uh, they're talking about potentially adding in the Slinky Dog Dash roller coaster and the Alien Swirling Saucers. It's a lot of fun, as well as Woody's Lunchbox. And then also the Tron coaster that we were wondering where they were going to fit that, and they found room. So that's really kind of fun. Um, currently open in Shanghai Disneyland and under construction at the Magic Kingdom is the Tron Light Psyker roller coaster. And up here we see some larger canopies that may be something for Tron. This is another organic area that potentially could be, um, you know, a Peter Pan area or something like that as well. But does anyone see Slinky Dog Dash in here or? A very specific Tron, that's the closest thing I can see for it. So maybe you're able to park hop over here too. You're able to go from park to park probably, um, which would be pretty darn cool. The upper part, the Disneyland section, is definitely more spoken hub. Definitely radiates around a very central thing. That almost looks like uh, some type of, of ride track there for sure. Almost like that you're going to be up in the air in some type of gondola. So that's several new water rides at least three new water rides that's also two new major um uh, roller coasters and at least one major e-ticket dark ride um if not more so over here south on the other side of california adventure would be a new shopping and dining district so a uh, new kind of disney entertainment destination there's uh, some a concept image here for a place called the hangar you have to say downtown disney is kind of like you know in the middle of the two parks so you know probably does, I don't know I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of people who go to downtown Disney just to go to downtown Disney but uh, this will be a little bit more separated from the parks probably a little bit easier in and out looks like they'll have a lot of uh, little marketplaces uh, this looks a lot like they might be putting a hotel down here as well looks like a large parking structure a lot of restaurants a lot of retail should be a lot of fun well, folks, uh, I hope you guys are really excited about the potential of this happening. Um, and I think it's a very interesting marketing uh, a technique that Disney is using to try and get this approved and to get support behind it for uh, the city of Anaheim, for this type of a park to move forward um, and this type of expansion to Disneyland. And we think this is a fantastic way to expand Disneyland and DCA. When we first thought that, saw this, we thought, oh, they're going to try and put a really small park you know, right in there next to it. It's really quite a bit of land. And um, I, we love that it's actually an expansion of the, the other two parks. Um, it would, it's going to forever change Disneyland, of course, and it will forever change in particular the Disneyland Hotel and the Paradise Pier Hotel. But it really uh, a very dramatic um, a move, a bold move forward, and I, I hope this is something that they're able to get support and approval for, and that this is something that makes sense, and this is something for Anaheim, because it sure makes sense for me, and we're really excited about it, and we just wanted to get our first initial reactions of this project out there, this project that they're trying to get support for so they can try and make it happen. So imagine the possibilities, Mouseketeers. It sounds like a whole lot of fun. We'll see you real soon. Disneyland.
is your land. Well, hey there, Mouseketeers. The Disneyland Beat and Friends live panel show is coming soon. On April 5th at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we are debuting a new live streaming panel show, the Disneyland Beat and Friends live stream. Each episode, we will talk about current Disneyland and Disney headlines. We will play a game with you, our viewers, and we'll have a special show segment that we have prepared, like Attraction Reaction, or This Day in Disneyland History, or Help Me, Obi-Wan Kenobi, You're My Only Hope, with lots more to come, but you're going to have to tune in to see them all. I'm TC from the Disneyland Beat, who's also a theater and event designer, and I'm going to be joined by Disney YouTuber Damien Houston from the Damien Does Disney D3 channel, as well as Don Morin, who is a voice actor and the director of the Pacific Northwest Mouse Meet, the best and largest fan gathering this side of D23. This show will focus on you, the guests. We can't wait to meet and chat with you. The Disneyland Resort and its history and the people who make it work. Disneyland is our favorite Disney park, and we have lots of park insight to share and fun times to have. So be sure to join us Monday, April 5th at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for the Disneyland Beaten Friends live stream.